Hey everybody, this is Paul with State of Wake at stateofwake.com. I'm going to be discussing Europe's refugee nightmare, police state, or disillusion. And before I go on too far, I want to make sure I point out this. This says bipcot.org. This is a, this is, this is my notice. This is a bipcot.org show. That means that anyone's free to use this stuff as long as they want. Uh, a credit would be nice, though. Not necessary. And uh, if you're part of the government, the answer is no. Heck no. So we're going to look here, and we are using stateofwake.com, which is our flagship site for we have we have our resource stuff on here so after you're done watching this video be sure you check in the 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 notes there for the link to what we're calling our resource page and you could find the links to the articles as well as to the videos that we'll be using in this show and we're actually going to start off with a video and this is from RT France is reinforcing security and a state of emergency, as, and that sorry, has been extended to three months, while neighbouring Belgium is being criticised for ineffective security measures following reports that the Paris attacks were planned in Brussels. We have seen, and what I've said before, is that there is a clear link between the security of the external border, the EU's external borders, and security within the, UK, within the EU. In the context of the severe terrorist crisis, we want provisions made to strengthen border controls. This should include the considerable reinforcement of the EU's external borders. Now, in, in light of that story, which happened on November 20th, this just came, and this is from Reuters, which we'll be reading from, and that is the Dutch finance minister, uh, Jarwin, uh, I'm not even going to try, I'm not even going to try that last name. Uh, I'm going to just call him DG. I'm going to call him DG. I'm calling you DG. So the Dutch finance minister, Jarwin DG warned that countries which fail to adequately guard Europe's borders and do not take in a fair share of refugees could find themselves outside the borders of a future mini Schengen zone. In an interview in Belgian Business Dailies, DG and Leco on Friday, DG, who was also the chair of the Eurozone Group of Finance Ministers, said the EU's passport-free Schengen zone could not work if only a few countries gave shelter to refugees. Uh, and many members of the 26 country Schengen zone, particularly poor Eastern European ones, oppose a European Commission plan to distribute refugees who have arrived in Europe since the start of the year. And let's go here. Uh, uh, he says, uh, to preserve them, you need to guard the external borders. This is DG. Otherwise, loads of people come and demand support and they blow the system up. That is what's happening now in the Netherlands, he said. The Netherlands first floated the idea of a passport-free inner core earlier this month, though Germany, without such a plan, would be unworkable, immediately distance itself from the proposals. On Wednesday, Jean-Claude Juncker, the head of the EU's executive, warned that the fate of the Schengen Zone was bound up with that of the Euro's single currency, and the one would not survive the failure of the other. Sounds scary? Sounds ominous? Next, we're going to look at CCTV and a little report about how the EU plans on funding Turkey to help them manage the Rif refugee crisis. Now remember, their Turkey is the same country that is helping ISIS. So there's that. So let's play that. European Union leaders will offer Turkey a 3.2 billion U.S. dollar aid package and a boost for its membership bid in exchange for its cooperation with the migrant crisis at a summit on Sunday, although key issues remain to be hammered out. Turkey is the main gateway for refugees to reach Europe from Syria, 2.2 million of whom are currently in Turkey. Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu standing in for President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is also set to win a deal for the opening in December of a new chapter in Turkey's stalled accession talks for the 28-nation bloc. 
EU President Donald Tusk said in his invitation letter to leaders that the summit will mark an important step in developing our relations and contribute to managing the migration crisis. Now that glorious uh, announcement was uh, shared by CCTV on November 29, 2015. Think about that, folks. The European Union, that bastion of uh, state decency and rule of law, is offering Turkey $3.2 billion to help them with the refugee crisis that Turkey, along with others, were instrumental in kind of creating. So we're going to move on to a story from November 27, 2015, from Zero Head Fudge, Head Hedge Fund. I'm sorry. EU Commission President Jean Claude Juncker warned that the euro is pointless if people can't move around freely to use it. That's right. Scary. If we can't have our open borders, then uh, yeah, it's all doom and gloom. Having already called for a European standing army in order to show Russia that the EU is serious about defending European values, EU Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker said Wednesday in his first speech to the European Parliament since the attacks in Paris that killed blah blah blah, that Europe's single currency would come under threat if the Schengen visa-free travel zone fails. If the spirit of Schengen leaves us, I'm going to totally butcher his accent. I'm not doing a French accent, so I'm going to just make him sound silly. If the spirit of Schengen leaves us, we'll lose more than the Schengen agreement. A single currency doesn't make sense if Schengen fails, Juncker told the parliamentarians. Schengen is one of the main pillars of the construction of Europe, he added. We have to safeguard the spirit behind the Schengen Agreement, Juncker said, admitting the Schengen system is partly comatose. Those who believe in Europe, those who believe in its values and principles, freedoms, must give up their freedoms, must breathe, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I say that out loud, I did not mean that, uh, no, 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 must breathe new life into the spirit behind Schengen, a single currency, doesn't make sense if Schengen fails. Those who carried out these attacks in Paris, those who incited these attacks are the same people who are forcing the unlucky of this planet to flee. The unlucky of this planet to flee. Mostly men, by the way. Mostly single young men. But anyway. Please don't get things mixed up. Speaking at the parliament where legislation on sharing airline passengers' data has stalled, Juncker called on MEPs to cover people flying with the EU in the law. He also confirmed the European Commission will come forward with proposals on an EU-wide border and Coast Guard system in December and called for more effective cooperation between European intelligence services. So you have on the one hand, you have the threat of this Schengen plan falling apart. And there's legitimate... Uh, reason for concern that it that it will in the Schengen plan. Wow, I'm thinking of the von Schlieffen plan, which is very different. That was a World War One reference, but anyway, the the Schengen visa program uh, falling apart, uh, having European nations actually close their borders because, dude, uh, we don't like people coming into our country and killing us. Uh, so I'm not saying I'm the overwhelming, I mean like 90 plus 99% of the people coming into Europe are not trying to kill anyone. I don't, I don't want to jump on that bandwagon, but suffice to say, there's certainly a, a certain number of people who are coming in with the intent of, of causing mayhem. And these people are, are, are connected very much to, to the, to, to the boogeyman ISIS as well as to Turkey and other nations, which help fund ISIS. But, but I digress. Moving on from, from VOA News, the people of Frankfurt, however, uh, seem to mostly support Merkel's, Merkel's policies. This is, uh, the people of Frankfurt are, are in favor of the Schengen Free Travel Plan. And here's one lovely guy named Ralph, and this is what he had to say. And I'm going to give him a British accent, 
because I know how much the Germans love the British and what Ralph said, yeah, I want Ralph to have a British accent. Ralph, if you ever see this, you have a British accent now. Live with it. I think it Schengen free travel should continue, most definitely. We've made great progress over the couple of years, so why should we change it? Okay, so that was like Scottish, Irish, British, whatever. So I failed. Ralph, you failed. Through me, Ralph, you failed. It should continue, but we still have to raise the controls of Europe of on European outside borders, said another man. Ulrich Mueller, according to the law, the law, everybody has to be checked when they enter Europe. Control on the outer borders of the Schengen zone has been a controversial issue. That's right. Control on the outer borders. And guess where those outer borders are? They're in the uh, the outer uh, nether reaches of the poor countries of Greece, for instance. Greece, who was basically told, dude, you have to be a checkpoint for refugees. And Greece is like, I don't want to be a checkpoint. Well, you're going to have to be a checkpoint for the refugees. Well, okay. And then after they become a checkpoint for the refugees, now the EU is saying, listen, dude, you guys suck. It's your fault. Paris is your fault. Let's not, let's, let's be honest here. Greece let in bad people. It's entirely your fault. We've got to do something out of it. We need a European army to, to, to take over that border because this is a European concern for the good and the safety of all Greece. You need to sacrifice your sovereignty for the good of the whole. Does that sound familiar? From the independent UK. Uh, stranded refugees have attacked a Macedonian police with stones as authorities began erecting a fence to prevent them entering the country. That's right. What's going on in Macedonia right now, today, even as we speak, this is a story from today. We have refugees attacking Macedonian police because the Macedonians are like, dude, we're not letting these people into our country. We're a small country. We're not letting these people overrun our country. Right or wrong. That's what they've decided. So while that is going on, uh, Alexander, or excuse me, Alexei Cipri, uh, he is the, the, the left-wing uh, 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 prime minister of Greece, uh, responded in part to the EU's, essentially the EU's threat to take over Greece's borders. Uh, and he said... His government's determina expressed his government's determination not to remain in the position of a passive observer, but to claim an active role by taking initiatives on the ongoing refugee incident. Cipri underlined that Greece is waging a battle to address the refugee issue as a European-wide or Europe-wide problem, as well as a problem of the neighboring countries. He noted that Greece is meeting. I don't know if I want to give him an accent or not. Uh, I'm going to give him a... I'm going to give him a Texas accent. Uh, or no, not... I'm just going to say an, an, wet, an Old West uh, accent. Greece is meeting its European obligations to set up reception and identification centers for refugees. Well, he underlined that Europe must realize that Greece guards the EU borders. Neither offense nor the passing of the problem from one country to another can stop the flow of refugees as a result of war and poverty, he added. So there you go. Uh, Cipri is saying, dude, everything's fine. Meanwhile, at the same hand, and I don't have a link to a story here, but uh, Greece is uh, also trying to get a uh, better deal for the bailout that it had uh, so it's uh, it's kind of in that awkward position. It's kind of beholden to the EU while it's uh, trying to resist the EU basically taking over its borders. So, folks, I want you to remember this when you remember this story first and foremost. And that is, don't take any position which in, which, which in any way, shape, or form encourages people who still actively participate in governance, in, in, in gun governance, I'll call it, uh, any encouragement or any support for any position that empowers the state. And so that means you do not support government funding 
of refugees being imported into any land, nor do you support the government having the power to decide who goes in and who goes out of that land. In order for you to consistently represent your liberty, you must take the position that I do not support funding of refugees by the government, nor do I support armed borders. You see, if you don't have funding, government funding, these refugees, they will, they will be funded by their hard work or by the voluntary commitment of individuals to fund them if they so chose. And if they come into this land, we look at them, each person as an individual, and we judge them by whether or not they honor our liberties as neighbors and where they don't honor our liberty as neighbors then there are consequences for that so i think i'm going to end on that note i want you to be sure you listen to state of wake show uh thursday nights at 10 p.m that's on spreaker.com and here is our little nifty logo which might change uh dimitri's working on a different logo so this might still change, but there it is, State of Wake Show. And be sure you go to stateofwake.com. I will link to this resource so you can see the videos and you can see the articles that I use to produce this incredibly wonderful production that will probably revolutionize the way that you see YouTube. I may be a bit hyperbolic in that comment. Thank you very much. Be sure you subscribe to this channel at State of Wake, and you can find us at youtube.com backslash. Let me make sure I got that right. YouTube.com backslash State of Wake. Let me go up to the top here, and I'm just going to make sure YouTube.com State of Wake. There it is. It's, a. Uh, it's, a. Uh, yeah. It's hidden, so I can't see it, but maybe you can. Yes, yeah, see backslash state of wake show this has been paul gordon collier saying good night